Welcome to Plant-Based Van Life. I'm Steve Kay, and I'm here to introduce you to the techniques and benefits of a whole food, plant-based diet. I've been a chef for over 35 years and a culinary arts instructor since 2008. With all of the positions I've held, filming this video is by far the most nervous I've ever been. What knowledge I lack in the, the production, the editing, the publishing of videos, I more than make up with my passion for food and the teaching of others. This video, my first ever, will be far from perfect. I'm expecting mistakes, but I will never let perfection be the enemy of good. I want you to keep an open mind and apply the same outlook to your experience with a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Many, if not all of the techniques and recipes I'll show you originate from my love of camping and the outdoors. Meal prep focuses on tight spaces, good planning, um, limited resources, including both fuel and water. I'll be posting new videos every two weeks, uh, probably until March, when I hope to then post weekly. Each video will begin with an introduction and kind of a mini lesson, um, explaining what question I may answer or problem I will help solve. The second part will then be a step-by-step -step demonstration of that day's technique with a corresponding recipe. At the end of each video, I hope to answer any questions and respond to any comments from the prior video, the prior week, or any other questions you might have with a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So feel free to like or subscribe below or comment on my Instagram page, plant-based van life, no hashtag. Today's recipe is for a pasta dish with mezzo rigatoni, sausage, spinach, grape tomatoes, and kind of a cream sauce, a mock cream sauce. All ingredients, plant-based. And remember, this is my first video. And yes, I'll be making mistakes. I think I made two already. Um, but I'm looking to improve a little bit each time I publish. So welcome aboard and welcome to a whole food plant-based lifestyle. And since I don't know how to pause the video, I'm going to take two seconds, adjust the camera, focus on my prep and my pan, and we'll start cooking. All right, give me a sec. All righty, that looks pretty good. So basically what I have is a spot burner with a 10 inch nonstick pan, a high heat spatula, and my prep, especially when I camp, especially when I have limited resources. Um, you could do this at home also. Even if you prepare for the week at home, what can you do beforehand that really doesn't affect the quality of the food? I have ingredients measured out. I have vegetables prepped. Um, and I keep everything nice and organized. So especially if I'm out in the woods, I'm out in an area where there's not a lot of fuel and room, everything is very compact. So regardless of the size of my kitchen, I try to keep things very organized and at hand. Today, what I'm going to do to form the mock cream sauce is basically based out of flour and nutritional yeast. I'll take about three quarters of a cup of nutritional yeast and a quarter cup of flour, place it in a bowl. There we go. Into it, about a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. I have about a teaspoon and a half of granulated garlic. I have a teaspoon and a half of granulated onion. And my secret ingredient, about two teaspoons of dry mustard. I've seen recipes that use turmeric and paprika and items like that. Um, I don't like the color and I'm not really comfortable with the flavor of turmeric. Regardless of this recipe, if you prefer more mustard, less garlic, regardless of your flavors, you can adjust as you see fit. So once everything is kind of included, mixed well, I'll put that to the side. In my pan, I'll turn the burner on And I'll add a little bit of what I like to use, coconut oil. 
all the small cups I save, I could use it for other recipes. Once my oil melts, I'm gonna add one of my favorite plant-based ingredients is a sausage, but it's a field roast. It's a company I found a few years back. Field roast sausages really, really have a great flavor. And more importantly, I know it's hard to understand in certain food, it has a good mouthfeel. It feels like you're eating sausage. It has a good bite to it and really, really good flavor. So once I kind of sweat the sausage in the fat, I'll start making my sauce. And basically what the sauce is, is any flavors coming from the sausage. I'm gonna add some chicken stock, some oat milk, any non-dairy milk. It could be a nut milk, it could be, like I say, an oat milk. And then I'm gonna add about three, uh, let's see, three quarters of a cup of oatmeal and a quarter cup of my mix. That's gonna thicken. And then I add my rest of my ingredients. The whole dish, because I prepped it beforehand, probably takes only a few minutes to cook. And what I like about my mixture for my cream sauce is, this is quite a bit, I'll put it in a bowl jar or a Tupperware and leave it to the side. And especially if I'm camping, if I'm traveling, I could then just add it when I need it. So once the sausage starts to cook, it's giving off the flavors. It's seasoning the oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable stock for flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of my oat milk and that's gonna start to simmer. Once that starts to simmer, I'll take about a quarter cup of my filling. Start mixing that up and the flour, the starch in the flour starts to coagulate and it forms a thickened sauce. And once it starts to thicken, you can see it's gonna pick up the flavor and the color of the sausages. I'm gonna turn the fire down a little low. You don't want it to boil. And you're just gonna slowly stir it until it comes together. Okay, and now what I like to do, I'll add my chopped grape tomatoes. And what's nice about grape tomatoes, tomatoes as a whole, is the acid in the tomatoes kind of cuts the richness of quote unquote the cream sauce. And I really like how tomatoes add a little level of flavor with the acid. And then I'll add my spinach. I add the spinach right at the end because one thing about spinach, it usually cooks down to nothing. And already the second mistake I made is I left my pasta in my refrigerator. So now I have to go get my pasta. And I don't know if I could reach, so hold on one second. I could reach. So here's my pasta. And again, to save time, to save resources like fuel and water when you're out camping, what I do before I go is I cook off my pasta, shock it, toss in a little oil, and portion it out. This is about three ounces of pasta. The heat from the sauce, the flavors are all melding, and once everything is combined, you're ready to go. A rule of thumb for me is I try to stay light with white carbs like pasta, white flour. So what I try to do is half the amount of ingredients, half the amount of pasta. Once it's all comes together and I'm gonna stir it, shut my fire off and place it in my bowl. So the whole thing really took a few minutes to put together. 
There you go. With a nonstick pan and a high heat spatula. Again, I'm out in the woods. I don't have a lot of resource. It's easy to clean by scraping everything down. And the last step that I like to do, which I learned the hard way, is take a spritzer bottle I always have in my van, spray it, to control the amount of water and that prevents it from drying out and sticking. So very easily done. We have a wonderful pasta dish, cream sauce, sausages, spinach and tomatoes. Bon appetit. Since this is my first video, I'm not sure how to end the first video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, already I made a mental note of a few things I have to change and adjust, but like I say, um, pretty <laughs> I'm pretty nervous. I think it went well, um, regardless of the flaws and if it was a little disjointed. I always thought the focus is the content. The recipe is a great recipe. Um, I will probably put a link in the YouTube comments and I'll set up the ingredients on Instagram when I post later today. So again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and I'm really, really looking forward to any comments, any questions you may have. And hopefully I'll see you in about two weeks when I publish again. I think the second video, the next two videos are basically going to be setting up how to properly prepare. We might do sauces and ingredients that give you certain uh, flavor profiles, like a really good dressing, certain marinades, um, quote unquote, Italian flavors, Latin flavors, Asian flavors. So depending on the ingredients you use, you could always cook different cuisines from different cultures and you're still using basic techniques. So again, um, eat well, be well, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in a couple of weeks. Thanks again for joining. Bye-bye.